Ah, because I haven't actually clicked anywhere on here. You have to actually click one of the little squares or circles. But when you click freehand, you can actually start just drawing, well, freehand. So there we go. You can really make, if you've got a, a good eye, I'd imagine you can make some really awesome trees with that. And if you notice over here in my console, I do get a lot of errors popping up still. But I'm going to undo that. And the fastest way to do that will probably be... Hmm, usually I get that warning saying it's been edited and... There we go. Okay, so on to branches. Click a node. Click branches. And it's pretty much the exact same options for them. Frequency. Uh, it's going to give me a hard time. Uh, world st steepness. I'm going to make them bigger. Actually, let's try alternating. Not quite what I want. Let's go down, quickly select the material for it. I'm just going to take the big tree leaves that comes with. Watch my little blue ball spin. So that's what we're at right now. Not exactly the crowning achievement. Uh, there's quite a bit more. Oh, geometry mode. You have uh, playing cross is just what it sounds like. It makes uh, a cross pattern. So you notice right here, there's a plane this way and a plane that way. Then you have tri cross, which is three of them. You have billboard, which just always faces the camera. And you can make your own mesh of leaves and attach the mesh to it. I'm getting the spinny ball again. All my leaves should disappear. I'm going to go back to, uh, I'm going to do the cross. Again with the spinny ball. So if I come up here, I'm going to change my distribution. Whoops. That's actually not the one I wanted. This is the one I wanted to change the distribution on. And it's not going to let me because I've manually edited. There we go. Uh, let me see here. Here we go, the size is how you can really make your tree fill out. So it's starting to look a little more like a tree. And again, you know, double ended. Then you can change their alignments. Uh, animation I'm not going to touch. Anyway, so that's pretty much how you make your basic tree once you have your test tree done I would just save it off as a prefab come to your terrain go to the trees here and when you want to add a tree just click edit tree add tree go to your prefabs where you created your tree or you can click the little ball here now I called it test tree it's gonna be faster just to instead of going through all that just drag it up drop it down there we go I'm gonna get rid of my test tree up here I'm gonna to go to my town my starter town now I have the water turned off I'm gonna turn it back on 
I'm going to go to my train. I'm going to select this tree and I'm just going to paint some down. Now you can go ahead and change the brush size, tree density. Uh, these haven't changed from the last version of Unity and they're pretty self-explanatory. So I'm just going to go along, throw some trees in, boom, boom, uh, maybe some more over here. Let's, I don't want any in the middle of town. So I'm going to put some there. We'll start the game up. And I'm just going to run towards the trees. So there's my trees I made. I imagine you can make those pretty quickly. And if you notice the shadows shining on me. But anyway, that's how you make trees and that's how we're going to be adding them to our our game. Another way you could do it is to actually take the, the test tree. So I'm just going to click on this prefab and manually place it somewhere. And of course that gives you the ability to start scaling it and rotating it. Now there used to be a bit of an advantage to doing it this way uh, with Unity 2.61 but now that we have a collision or collusion column, I don't really think there's any advantage to it at all anymore. Uh, for now I'm just going to stick to painting them on with a train. One other way you could actually add trees very quickly is to come up to train, choose mass place trees, and this actually works really good once you get a few different trees in there. Uh, select the number of trees you want to put down. I'm going to put down 500 and just hit place and it's going to randomly put them everywhere and of course you'll notice you're going to get some in the water and whatnot you can actually just hold down shift and clear out the ones you don't want now this might be a little faster than painting them on if you're going to be putting them on uh, like quite a bit of area on your map but I'm just going to get rid of all those trees I'm actually just going to paint them on because I'm going to want some areas to be a little clearer than others and of course you know you can get really crazy and the defaults 10,000 so if you hit place you know it's boom welcome to the forest and of course and like I said before just hold down sh go to your train hold down shift and it's you can unpaint them but I don't want that many trees so that's pretty much it for the tree creation. I'll be interested to see what you guys come up with. Uh, go ahead and make your trees, texture them, everything else, and then create a video and upload to, in response to this video here. I'd like to see what everyone's made. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.